is Memuna Bombaywala, your guide and mentor for organic chemistry. We are talking about a series of videos on reaction intermediates and we have started our discussion about carbocations, the first type of reaction intermediates. In our last video, we have seen what is, what is a carbocation, how it is formed and what are the properties of carbocations. In this particular video, we will be dealing with the structure of carbocation, a small aspect, you know, if we can remember it in two words, right? So let us talk about the structure of carbocation. Carbocation, this structure is, it, it shows sp2 hybridization. This type of question can be asked in your GPAT examination or NEET examination that which type of hybridization is shown by carbocations. My dear friends, I have published a video on sp2 hybridization and we have always, always mentioned that sp2 hybridization is shown by alkenes. We have said this about alkenes that they show triangular geometry. In the similar way, carbocation also shows planar, matlab on a plane, the structure is planar and the geometry is triangular with a bond angle 120 degree. Please have a look at the structure of carbocation and how this carbocation shows sp2 hybridization. See, for example, I am talking about a methyl carbocation. Let us see how we can make this methyl carbocation. For example, see this is my carbon which is bonded to a hydrogen. Another carbon, sorry, the same carbon which is bonded to the to the hydrogen, but a little of uh, the carbon, one more little of carbon which is bonded to another hydrogen. See, for example, these are your sp2 hybrid orbitals. These are your sp2 hybrid orbitals which are binding to your hydrogens. CH3, CH3. They are showing bond angle 120 degree. Other than this, there is a p orbital which lies perpendicularly, right? And this p orbital will be empty. It will not have any electrons. This is the structure of carbocation that it shows sp2 hybridization. It shows a planar geometry. It is lying on a plane, triangular. And the bond angle is 120 degree. And the p orbital that lies in the carbocation is empty. That is why, because it is empty, it does not have chocolates, it does not have electrons, it is bearing a positive charge. In our next video, we will be talking about the stability of carbocations. We will be discussing why tertiary is more stable than secondary, which is more stable than primary. And we will also ask a question, that okay, tertiary is more stable than any carbocation? Hai? So let us talk about that in our next video. Keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe this channel.